Guys, this is Angry Tom Tom channel, and today I will be unboxing one of the best Samsung phone with the best battery life 2020, and it is Samsung M31. This is my Samsung Note 9. It's pretty good, but this is this one has the biggest battery life. It's like 6,000 milliampere, and this one is only like 4,100 milliampere. So I'm really excited to show you guys uh, so you don't have to bring any like power bank or um, or a charger because it will last all day long and, um, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the specifications of this phone versus the Note 9 uh, the only downside of this phone is uh, there is no uh, NFC NFC and stylus versus the Samsung Note 9 but all the hardware is pretty much better except the display the display of this Note 9 is slightly higher it's the same Super AMOLED but it has like bigger uh, pixels you know but in terms of inches it's it's the same 6.4 so and in terms of weight this is lighter of course but uh, it's Gorilla Glass 3 so I mean it's pretty good for the price as it's really like cheap it's only like 3.3 .3 million uh, Indonesian money or about $200 ish so um, it's pretty good I mean it has the USB type C uh, it's 2.0 it's still fast and it's like fast charging too and um, the camera it's pretty high it's like 32 megapixel versus the 8 megapixel of the Note 9 and the front camera is and the rear camera I mean 64 and 12 so in terms of camera I think um, I think uh, Samsung M31 bit uh, Samsung Note 9 except the video it has like 60 FPS versus the 30 FPS so if you have like an employee and you want to give them like uh, or or like your your kids you just uh, give them this you don't have to worry about charging or bringing like or buying extra uh, power bank you know because it will be enough to last a whole friggin day and if you can see it's like 6,000 it is 4,000 and it's fast charging 15 watt uh, this one is wireless charging too I believe I haven't tried it yet it has a fingerprint and um, um, it also has a um, same uh, GPU as you can see it's a Mali G72 MB3 so I mean it's pretty much I mean it's not it's not that far away in terms of specification as you can see it's on like 1.7 1.8 it's not I mean it's almost the same in terms of speed and it's Android 10 too um, the only downside is just the NFC and there's no stylus for me and maybe less pixels but in terms of everything in terms of the battery and um, for working stuff um, it's pretty good so let's now unboxing this beautiful phone uh, just make sure when you buy uh, it has a seal over here you know so if it's not seal if the seal is broken it's not brand new it's by Samsung all right let's take this out as you can see um, I felt the uh, the boxes is like pretty cheap I mean it's not as luxury as the Samsung Note 9 boxes and um, let's try to open this up you know so you got a, uh, a phone here there's a barcode I'm not sure if it is important and um, let's see what's inside of this Hold on let me Take this out I'm using a on one hand so there's a manual quick start guide what else all right just like in the Indonesian language all right just showing you how to put a nano oh yeah also there's a difference in the sim card it's dedicated so you don't have to worry about uh, switching to a sim card so if you see it here um, there's a dedicated slot let me uh all right there's the micro SD is dedicated versus the Note 9 it's not dedicated so you either have to use the, your SIM or your micro SD but with this I mean everything is like um, independently all right 
So there is the phone. All right, let me take this out. It's the uh, Infinity U display uh, quad camera with a 6,000 uh, milliampere battery. And um, all right, it's made in Indonesia. All right, and you can see the camera. It's pretty cool versus the Note 9, you know. It has like, I'm not sure, like four cameras versus two camera in the Note 9. So basically, this, uh, this is more advanced, you know. I mean, the camera. And there's a finger fingerprint on the back. There's a fingerprint for the Note 9 too. And you also got the uh, USB-C type C cable. It's nothing really special. And there's a SIM ejector. Um, there's an adapter. I think that's that's pretty much it, you know. Um, just in case you want to see it. All right, it's 15 watt, okay? Fast charging. Nothing really fancy, okay? Right, I believe that's it, all right? So let's try to turn this on. All right, let me take out the uh, plastics. All right, finally, I'm able to take this out and I'm um, gonna show you the SIM card, how it looks, all right? It's pretty hard to do it one one hand. All right, so there's like three slots that you can use for your SIM card and um, for uh, what do you call this? A um, uh, the place for the SD card, mini SD card, like micro. I mean, and there's like a uh, SIM one and SIM two slot. Okay, so I like I like um, I like fun with this dedicated uh, place for the micro SD uh, you don't have the luxury with the uh, Note 9 okay so in terms of slot M31 wins all right so let me, let me put this back on all right so here is the difference the size of the phone with the uh, Note 9 all right let me turn this on this is how it looks I mean in terms of the display it's the same it's just my it just I have a bigger um, a casing, you know. I have not put casing with this. Okay, I turn it on, and it's in Indonesian. Um, let me turn this on again. See, the screen is pretty much the same. It's like six point four inches. All right, if you see it like side by side, it's not that uh, a big of a difference. It's also, it's the same. You just have a, like a, have a slimmer bezel. This is just like a regular setups stuff. And um, okay, let me take out everything. What the hell? Why do I have to agree to everything? Okay, let me put on a password. Let me show you guys the, the blue color of this phone, okay? Um, I don't feel it's like pretty cheap. It's pretty sturdy, as you can tell. It's not, um, it's not, it's, uh, I thought it's gonna be like, uh, if the price is cheap, then the material is gonna be like soft. It's not soft, you know, it's like it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's, it's pretty well built, you know. It, I, it doesn't feel cheap for me, you know. Like uh, the uh, M20, the previous generation, and the M21, um, it feels pretty cheap. But this one, it's I don't know, it's pretty rock solid, you know. It's not as solid as the Note 9, but it's not far away from the uh, Note 9. If you get the M21, the M21, it's gonna be more plasticky. And um, it's not gonna be as durable as this one, okay? So at first, it's gonna be installing updates, um, just like any usual phone. If you connect it to Wi-Fi, it's gonna be updating. And uh, I don't think uh, this is pretty pretty good because you can hear that, you know. It's not easy to scratch. I'm not sure what kind of a material is this, you know. And um, it feels pretty good, you know. 
all right so i'll i'll wait after the update is over so let's zoom it in again oh it's hard to zoom did you see that 64 megapixel this is insane you know it's like pretty high specs all right hold on it will ask you how to uh if you want to use your uh, old phone um but uh i don't i don't have it at the moment so uh, okay and it doesn't have a button like this on the note 9 where you can press the middle i can't do this with this you know so i have to uh, press the button on on the right side okay so um basically this is more uh secure because when you make a call and then suddenly you touch uh you touch the uh accidentally you know it will click another button so this one is pretty good i mean in terms of old people who usually have like a uh, sensitive stuff so no so it will touch when they they make a call so this one is pretty secure okay all right so um i forget to tell you guys it has like the same uh specification like uh, 6 gigabyte of ram and with the 128 internal memory so um it's pretty fast and with the newest uh, Android 10 uh, operating system, it has a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, same with the Note 9. It has a, I don't know, FM radio. Uh, Note 9 actually doesn't have an FM radio. I'm not sure why. It's not that important to me, but the USB Type-C, it's more advanced than Note 9, all right? Um, it has a fingerprint. It has like a camera um, for security, uh, like recognition and um and as you can see it's released on the uh uh february 25 2020 you know as the note 9 is released on the 2018 okay it's pretty it's pretty i mean a lot of things to uh read you have to uh agree to a lot of things before you can use it this is weird um i've never been asked a phone number when I'm trying to activate my new phone this is like a new features for me um, I don't have a sim card yet um, I don't know if I can use this phone since I don't have a uh, number ready all right all right so um, I'm not sure if I can activate it yet because I'm gonna give this to my to my mom so I will activate it Maybe later if I can't skip this tab, you know, I'm trying to skip this tab, but I can't. Go to one more. Oh my goodness. I mean, why there is no uh, privacy? I have to answer whatever they want to ask. All right, now this is the new uh, feature. This is how it looks. Um, this is how it looks. It's like one, two, three, four, five. So five by four applications, if you want to use this. All right, let's test out the camera. Hold on, let me swipe it and then see the, uh, the specification. Let's go to the about phone. It's, all right, there's two slots. Okay, wait, where is the, Where's the Android version? Okay, there's the battery. Okay, it's six thousand milliampere. Okay, so it's good. And um, the software information is the Android ten. Okay. All right. And um, let's see the internals. Um, where can I go there? Okay. Check your. Okay, this is. The storage is like 128 it used by the system is 20 uh, gigabyte already um, this is the memory it's 6 gigabyte this is the uh, ultra data savings um, let's check out the uh, battery let's try to charge it okay all right so it's charging at 55% uh, and let's check out the battery how long it's gonna take to uh, be in 100% uh, where do you guys see that? Okay, fast charger connected and um, I don't know how long uh, This is gonna be 
because it's not it doesn't say anything about the uh, so I'll just put adapter I mean um, there is no no time limit when it's gonna be charged I mean when it's gonna be full so I'm not sure uh, how to find it but uh, all right so let's check out the uh, camera okay hold on okay let me take this out and uh, okay wow it's it's pretty nice let me take a picture by pressing the uh, the button okay and let's see the result let's see the result all right oh it's pretty blurry let me take it again with the precision capture oh we can't do that like the note 9 ah oh, i hate it Okay, so basically, if you are um, uh, left-handed, uh, you have to press the uh, the volume button here, just to click it, you know, um, or you have to go down below, you know. I, I like to use my uh, one hand just to take a shot, you know. I don't have like a, like a big arm. Okay. Okay. Let's see the result. I focus it uh, it turns out it's not I mean um, it's okay it's not that great let's try it with the not 9 all right this is the not 9 okay oh what the hell all right capture all right let's see the result this one versus this one okay this one is 64 megapixels right this one is not 64 but as you can see the uh, Note 9 has a better uh, focus versus this one this one is more blurry if you if you see it let me uh, put it here let me put it like side by side all right, that's the Note 9 here. I mean, this one is sharper. You see that one? You know? So basically, Note 9 camera is better, I think, in terms of a focus. You know? I mean, it's, it's like pretty hard. Wait, hold on. Let me uh, do the automatic. And um, actually, okay, hold on. Um, Actually, you can. Uh, I think this is like a wider. Hold on a second. All right. So it has, but uh, this one has a pretty cool feature. It has a uh, uh, a wide angle uh, options here, versus this one. Watch it. All right. See, the Note Nine. Let's see if it it has like only like. Uh, like two two wide angle versus the third wide angle it has like this hold on okay it has a zoom like one times you know so basically in terms of a zoom zoom out I mean this this one is is better actually did you see that you know so it's pretty cool uh, feature to have all right this is how it looks it has like you don't have to go far away just to uh, take pictures let's try again to uh, take picture it's pretty uh, it's pretty shaky you know when I'm trying to uh, take pictures oh this is a video hold on Okay, let's see the result again. 
Maybe it was just a coincidence. See which one has a better uh which one has a better um quality i still think that note 9 has still a better quality let's go to the super amola and try to zoom it and try to compare it all right i think note 9 it has a smoother um a result versus this one you know so i believe note 9 is is a better in terms of a camera i'm not sure why so basically the better i mean the higher the spec it's not necessarily has a better a quality you know you have to try it yourself all right it's just a brightness i can turn on the brightest pretty high so i don't know which one do you guys like i took this only one time i took this like i have to try it several times because before it becomes like sharp to to read okay and uh yeah i mean both of them are good but uh but i believe uh then i mean i believe not nine is slightly better even though with the lower pixels okay let's go to here k and then go to k All right, so this one is pretty blurry when I try to zoom the word K. All right, this is the I, this is the K, this is the O. This one is pretty like, you know, you can see the word K. So I believe Note 9 is still better. So, I mean, why they put like a 64 megapixels of a camera and then they still fail to... Uh, uh, they still still fail to a uh, it showed them that this one is a better camera you know for me uh note 9 is still better see um it's not noticeable for some people but for me i mean it's noticeable you know oh by the way this is my new asus laptop uh i haven't sh uh do unboxing on this yet but i will show you guys later this is a, like a really really cool laptop okay um so even though with the uh, with the higher specs, it's not always better. Let's go back to the main camera. It says like 64 megapixels. This is 12 megapixels, but it turns out it's better. I mean, I that's that's like a default settings. Maybe because it's like I'm not sure. Um, okay, let's check out the settings. Hold on. Okay, let's check out the camera settings. Uh, what do I do differently? Okay, I usually use like one to one ratio. Okay, so I tried it again um, with these two cameras. Basically, it's pretty sharp, but you have to stay still. But with this one, it's pretty mobile. I mean, um, that's the way I take pictures just like this I don't even have to press a focus button and it will still uh, be sharp you know when you try to zoom it everything is still like pretty sharp but with this you have to stay still like this and then you have to press press like something to uh, to focus it first and then you press this okay and the result will be will be pretty good you know all right it's pretty good but uh you have to be uh you have to stay still you know you can't just like do it like this you know double click and then you take pictures you know uh it will be like it will be like slightly blurry do you see that it's blurry right you know but with this it's not blurry so it's two different um so the different is in the stabilizer you know see i i took the same way 
but it has different result you know in terms of a camera okay I took this just with one hand I don't, I don't even have time to uh, focus you know this one is still blurry okay so let's now uh, do the uh, voice alright so uh, basically the sound on this um, M31 is like louder than the Note 9 I mean a uh, by default okay so let's try to turn this on that's how it sounds here's a speaker here okay. there's a speaker Uh, AMOLED is not, it's pretty good, you know, it's the same quality, it's the same quality, you know, but, uh, and you can zoom it like this to make it like full screen, okay, but I'm pretty good actually, I mean, both of them are pretty good, it was just my mistake, um, with the pixels, I mean, with the quality of the YouTube, okay. So, um, let's see. let's see how quick it is when you open up an application. Okay, it's all right. In the Note 9, there's a feature uh, you can see like how many more minutes until it's 100%. But the I mean, the M31, and it will show you like how much, uh, how, how many hours it will uh, turn on, you know. But with the uh, M31, I believe it doesn't have that feature. That's let me do it see um it's like the same android 10 but you don't know uh when it will be uh when it will be uh finished you know when you're charging so it's pretty annoying for me so i uh, mean i still love my note 9 you know i don't care if this one has a bigger battery um or i might have like two phones you know but it has a different a different kind of uh a tweaks you know this one is more convenient because you can see how much your battery will last right so it's the same application when you clicked it when you clicked it but it doesn't have uh, I don't know why is it different uh, maybe if I change this to this okay hold on all right, let's go back I'm trying to make it it's still there's no still no information on how long it will last you know I'm tr currently charging it but there's no way that I will know when this is will be over oh man I hate it you know so I would not recommend if you already have a note 9 and you want to switch to m31 if you want to add a second phone it's fine but it doesn't have an NFC so you get into a payment or checking up your balance with a card that you can use to check your balance with the nfc uh, feature there's no nfc here if you try to find it all right i can't see uh any nfc stuff you know start mode all right i don't see nfc while well, here you can see an nfc all right there's an nfc uh features over there all right so that's that's how it I'm not sure why I can't click that savings the Dolby Atmos and this one I can click the Dolby Atmos um, uh, button even though with the medium power saving a uh, mode you know I'm not sure why I can't do this maybe because I'm using like a, a power saving stuff it says the sound effects let me click it again it says the sound effect works in earphone and bluetooth headset modes only while here um it works without the headphone let's try it is it really make a difference
one you know so I mean for you guys out there who uh, um, who wants to buy the used Note 9 I think it's still worth it uh, the battery is not so bad you know I rarely bring my uh, power, uh, power bank or adapter so um, still like Note 9 is still like much much better you know let's check uh, compare to the uh, menu um, all right um there's a lot of things that is not available in the uh that one you can see the menu is like four by four 16 17 18 19 20 with the uh but uh with the not nine you have more one two three three times four 12 12 24 right one two three one two three four four times three 12 24 25 26 27 27 28 so it, it has like eight more features than the uh, m31 it has only like two this one has like three pages okay that's it just two okay that's the difference but that's all I want to cover for today and I just covered the, uh, the camera the camera is better on the note 9 uh, maybe the selfie is better on this or slightly the same I I tried it but um, and then the voice is louder on this um, M31 slightly louder but it has more quality on the Note 9 okay and um, it has more stylus but uh, yeah, it has a bigger battery life that's the selling point of this phone but it has no NFC so um, if I want to carry a phone between this Note 9 M31 I would still carry my Note 9 because it can do more things than this one okay and this one um so thank you for uh listening i hope it is a really useful uh unboxing and thank you for listening don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the like comments it will be really helpful and i will keep you guys continuing with the quality content stay strong and question everything have a great night guys